Hey, what is up guys? Uh, today I wanted to show you a very easy farm that I've been doing whenever I have some spare time. Uh, what we'll be farming is mainly Zaxxus Raiders, which are just located south of Area 52 in Netherstorm. Uh, what's great about uh, these mobs here is that uh, they spawn pretty quickly and they also have a chance to drop prison keys. Uh, now you'll have to do a pre-quest to be able to get access to the prison keys on their uh, drop table. But odds are, if you've leveled in Netherstorm, you might already have it done. And if not, I mean, I'll just put a link down below. It really doesn't take very long to complete. Uh, the prison keys themselves sell pretty well. I've been selling them for around 12 gold each on my server. And uh, they can be used to open prison cells in Netherstorm to get rep with the consortium. Uh, as with any farm in the past, just make sure to check the prices on your server as well. Uh, if the prison keys are selling for say anywhere below I'd say like six or seven gold then odds are this is probably not worth it for you guys but uh, at a price of around 10 to 12 gold it's a decent farm overall. Uh, the nice thing also about these mobs is that uh, you if you do need consortium rep as well uh, they also drop Zaxxus insignias uh, which can be turned in 10 at a time in uh, area 52. Uh, for additional consortium rep. So if uh, you need that consortium rep to get all the way to Exalted, it's a nice way to farm a little bit of money on the side as well, just kind of hitting. Now you'll see in the footage, I'm typically AOing down the mobs, but as with pretty much all my gold farming videos, uh, you can definitely do this with any other class. I've seen a bunch of like hunters and druids farming this place as well. So even if you kill these mobs one at a time, I'm pretty certain that you'd get very similar results that I have. Uh, so that's pretty much all there is to it, to the, the farm, honestly. Uh, I won't drag out the video much longer. Uh, there's nothing else really special to mention here. So I'll just go ahead and kill these guys for one hour and come back to you guys with the loot. All right, so it's been one hour, guys, and I think we got pretty lucky on the drops. Uh, I mean, we got eight prison keys this one hour session. I'd say that's slightly above average, probably. Uh, I think if you would go ahead and do this, you'd probably get anywhere between five to six keys per hour or so. But in any case, the uh, breakdown of what we got, uh, we did get 35 gold from just raw gold from killing the mobs. And we went ahead and sold all of our grays and nethery cloth and potions. I know a lot of people in the comments keep telling me I should vendor the nether reef cloth, the potions, and so on. And I agree with you guys. Um, I typically don't, but I'm just trying to show you kind of like an absolute baseline of the gold per hour you can expect to get from this farm. And since you can always guarantee getting a certain amount by just vendoring these items, that's kind of what we'll do. So from the grays and nether weave and so on, uh, we did get an additional 53 gold. Uh, I'll go ahead and disenchant these greens just kind of for myself but I've calculated their vendor values so uh, from the greens themselves we did get an additional 17 gold and lastly again we did get eight prison keys assuming we didn't really get lucky and just kind of got a standard amount of five keys this hour uh, at 12 gold per key that's an additional 60 gold from the keys so if you add all that up together, that makes 165 gold. And we also did get 123 Zaxxus insignias. Uh, so if, if you did actually turn these in for rep at 250 rep per 10 insignias, uh, you would get an additional 3000 rep for the consortium faction in this one hour. Uh, so all in all, I mean, this isn't a crazy farm by any means. Uh, but if you do need the rep, or even, I don't know, if you're just kind of waiting in Netherstorm uh, for, say, like, uh, your Tempest Keep raid to start, and maybe you have, like, a spare 15 minutes or so, uh, overall, this really isn't all that bad. Uh, and again, if you disenchant the greens, like, turn the Netherweave into uh, bags, for example, or anything else that maybe has a higher profit margin on them, uh, I'm sure you could definitely push this farm over 200 gold an hour. So that's it for me, guys. I uh, just wanted to make this one short and sweet. Uh, like always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Uh, make sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell not to miss out on any content. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.